Sorry, get a little bit closer so that you're nice and clear here. I said you've done eight deals, 106K, and you got a flip going on. Yes, yes. How's that flip going? It's going good. We we just listed it a few days ago. Okay. Um, it was actually just like a normal cold call. We came across it. Yeah. Um, Who no, called? I called. You called? Yes, I, I called it. Um, it was a, I pulled a mobile home in Prescott. Yep. And we came across, I got him low, and I, I told Dad about it. I'm like, I might have this guy, you know, pretty low, that maybe we could take it down. And he's like, yeah. You know, the comps in the area were like 300, 315, and I yep. got it for 170. Woo! Put about 18. What list was it from? It was a Prescott mobile list. Okay, mobile, mobile home. Mobile home list. Okay. But this area, I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's manufactured, right. older area. It's retirement home, like yeah. retirement areas exactly. that people we go to. We actually rented right by the, the house that we have. Yeah. It's right by a golf course. It's it's beautiful. So we locked it up for 170 I met him at a Denny's. Yeah. And um, we decided to take it down ourselves, and we just listed it a few days ago for 335 And? We have about 215 into it. Okay. And we've had about... We've had quite a bit of showing so far. No offers yet, but we just listed it. Okay. You know, so. Um, now, can you get financing for this mobile home? Yeah, so it was actually a unique situation. Um, we have a, a friend, his name's Rodney. He owns a, a landscaping company. Yep. Basket, yep. And he funded the deal for us. Okay. The full 170, because um, we told him about it, and he knew how good of a deal it was, yep. too. So he was comfortable with it, and it, it worked out pretty good. The amazing thing is, if people know what you're doing, Yeah. They'll, they they want to be a part of it. Yeah, and I, right? I actually sold, I, I wholesaled him a lot, too. And right. Then, you know, he put a mobile home. So, I mean, we have a good uh, relationship with each other, so it worked out pretty well. Tell everybody uh, when you got started, how old were you, and uh, whether or not you were uh, in high school. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, it was, let's see, it was, man, I'm trying to think now. So, COVID happened, it was like almost a year now. Yeah. So, it was like March you know april because i just turned 19 you know three days ago yeah um, happy birthday so yeah let's get him a happy birthday happy birthday um, happy birthday <laughs> confetti shoot down that's right not yet no we'll but I, I started back like it was about may 1st i think was so it'll be almost a year now um and i you know i was watching you watching a lot of videos and i just kind of started i think the main thing was for me is i just kind of jumped into it right away yep and i wasn't waiting to learn everything so i think that really helped me out so yeah, I mean, I just started. I started making calls. So wait, you didn't know every part of the process, and you just started? Know. No. Right. No, and I, 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 just, I mainly liked you because I mean, you can, you just call. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, oh, I got to spend all this money on, you know, mailing out. That's what we were talking and, about. And, yeah. And all that type of stuff. So I'm like, oh, you're saying I can just, and I, I got all this free time. It's COVID. I don't got school, so I'm like, I'll make some calls, and it, it worked out pretty well. Worked out perfect. Yeah. Worked out to the tune of 106 thousand and a flip. That looks like a seventy thousand dollar deal. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It doesn't really sink in, right? Um, you know, the hundred and six so far. I mean, eight, so what do you do with deals, that? Well, you just turned nineteen. What do you do with one hundred six thousand dollars? Yeah. So, cold calling now. I'm really looking to buy my first rental. So okay. My whole, you know, my whole goal was to build up this cash with wholesaling. Of course. And then buy a rental. Yeah. So that's like the main goal. I know that's how you, you know, get the wealth started and everything. Yeah. Cash flow per month. And, that's it. And you know, maybe build a little team with the wholesaling thing. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of the main thing here. And with the flip going on, you know, that, that should be a nice, you know, payday as well. So yeah. I think it'll I think it'll work out. We've got some good things going on. And you would just move to Prescott from where? South Dakota. Right. And are you calling in, are you specializing in Prescott? Yeah. Because Prescott's like 90,000 people, right? 50,000. 50,000. I mean, it's growing. But okay. I think the Google population but, is like 50,000. But speak to people that are in the smaller markets that are like, you know, I need to go expand, expand, expand. I need to do it virtually because, you know, there's not enough people here. You're in your market yeah. making the calls yourself, right? Yeah. Still? Yes. So the the only list I've pulled is, so I got Prescott, Prescott Valley, which is like 10 minutes away, yep. which is another 40,000. Um, so mainly just calling around Yavapai County, which is a population of 250,000. Yeah. You know, not like Maricopa, which is... Six million. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So yeah. it's a lot smaller. Um, but I know there's there's deals everywhere. There's a lot of deals out there. You just gotta you know put in the calls and stay consistent. I mean, there's really there's deals everywhere. Cause that's I mean I think I texted you. You know, yeah. I mean, after my first list, like, mm -hmm. hey, what market do you suggest I go through next? And you're like, stay in there until you need to move. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. Well, there's a lot of buyers. Way. I mean, we we do deals in Prescott, Prescott Valley. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. buyers. Yeah, there's a lot of buyers. You know? I've, I've gained a lot of good 
um, contacts through there, and I'm just going to keep rolling with it till it runs dry, which it never will. So. so how do you get the confidence to be able to make these calls at 18 years old? You yeah, know what so I mean? I think God blessed me with the, you know, kind of the ability to talk to people, which yeah. is awesome. Um, but mainly, like I said, I mean, I just kind of took action right away. I wasn't really scared, um, you know, or hesitant to do anything. So, I mean, I just kind of jumped into it. You know, I read Rich Dad Poor Dad, right, mm -hmm. and got my mind turning. You know, I really wanted to make as much money as I could. So I'm like, if I got to talk to strangers, it's not like I'm looking at them in the face. You know, it's over phone. Yeah. Worst they can say is no. So, yeah. I mean, I just started up, and I mean, I... I've never really had too much of you know problem talking to people. Yeah. Um, but I think I, I looked at my mojo. I think I'm about forty five thousand calls in so far. Right. So in, in how many people have you talked to? Do you know? It's about five thousand. Uh huh. So five thousand conversations. You've um, had five thousand conversations with strangers. Yes. Do you feel like you could talk I mean, to yeah, anybody? I mean, when I when I talk to strangers now, it's it's kind of more like. I, I mean, a lot of people, when, you know, they talk to me, like, oh, yeah, you're very well-spoken. I thought you were much older. You know, yeah. we're talking on the phone and everything. So, yeah, it's a good compliment. But, yeah, I mean, when you talk to 5,000 people, you're going to learn how to talk to people. That's right. So. That's it. And that's what, it, you know, that's what we were talking about earlier. Mike, you brought this up. You know, you got to talk to 1,000 people before you hire anybody. You're talking to 5,000 people in, like, essentially, virtual high school. You're going, exactly. to, you're going to virtual high school. You're making calls. You're making this. Uh, and building your business at, at uh, now freshly minted 19 years old. Yes. Right? So that's incredible. Where do you do it from? Do you do it from your bedroom? Do you do it from a library? Do you do yeah, it from so an office, a den? Like, where do you make your calls? Yeah, so for the past 10 months, I, I call about three hours a day, about yep. five days a week, and it's all my bedroom right there on my desk. So, I mean, it can get old, you know, waking up, and yeah. you know, especially with COVID and quarantine and everything, it's... It's kind of like that's all life is. Yeah. Wake up, eat, and make calls. But that's it, man. <laughs> it, uh, I feel like grinding when you're young, when you have all this energy, it, it really will help. And I, it already is. So, yeah, I mean, just making calls in my bedroom. What time? So, what is your schedule? Do you do it in the morning or the afternoons, your calls? Yeah. So, I try to start like around 9, 10 ish. Yep. I go till about 1, 2. Um, you know, and then normally I'll just like go to the gym or something and try to get off the chair for a little bit. Yep. But, um, yeah, I mean, kind of like. Uh, late morning into mid afternoon. Yeah, um, you know if I sometimes I'll start later, but as long as I get them in, you know I I, I talk to the same people normally like contact wise. Yep. You know, throughout the day, so yep. there's not a secret timing or anything. Awesome. Are we getting any questions for? Well, let us know if you want to pop up some questions got, here for Carter. Also, do I mean Brett? Just like one of the cool things about Carter's, like even a year in, you know, he started wholesaling and already evolving the business, right? Taking the next step into fix and flipping and, and you know, who knows from there. That's you it. Know? Well, that's the point. And yeah, I mean, the fix and flip was, I mean, it's crazy. You know, I think it was listed on my 19th birthday, which I'm just telling you, like a year ago from now, when I was 18, before I read Rich Dad Poor or anything, I was, I was going to play college and golf, right? Yeah. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Yeah. So when COVID hit, that's when my mind shift really, you know, it just shifted. Yeah. It totally shifted. And when we found this deal, because dad was like, you know, I know you found it. And oh, I forgot to mention, I was offered, I sent it out to one of my buyers that I just met. He's a really good guy. Um, he offered me Is it Luke? Rick. Rick Whip. Oh, yeah. Okay, Rick. And, yeah. And, uh, not Luke. Um, yeah. But uh, he offered me two twenty five for it. Yeah. I and mean, that's a $55,000 wholesale. So that was really hard to turn down. Right. Um, Why but, did you turn it down? Well, mainly because I know I can make that and my dad can make that on Correct. this deal. Okay. You know, and more. Okay. Um, How does your dad fit into this? Yeah. So he... He, he buys a lot of real estate, yep. you know, so that's kind of how I got into it. Um, but he was, you know, he was going to come up, kind of, he managed it. He did a lot of the rehab himself. Yeah. So that was kind of his end on the deal. Yep. Um, and he, I mean, yeah, he's like. So he's managing the rehab. Yep. You're finding the deals and then you split it with him? Yeah. So for this one, it was, I found it, um, you know, he got funding, you know, it was, it was our friend, so it wasn't just him, but. Um, you know, he kind of, he, he did a lot of the work himself, you know, when he does projects, he kind of goes all in on it. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, we use some of my funds for the repairs, uh, some of his, so, I mean, we kind of just kind of went on this together mm -hmm. and, you know, it was a good learning experience. I gained a lot of handyman contacts as well, which sure. is awesome, you know, yep. in the future when I do my own flips. Um, but and I just mainly just learning the process, you know, the closing costs, all that kind of stuff adds up, you know, so when I'm finding wholesale deals, I, I know that more. Um, you know, when I go into negotiating and stuff. But, yeah, we, we're splitting the profits 50-50. And, you know, I think I think we're all in about 215. Nice. You know, and the market's crazy there. 
And it's, it's absolutely crazy. When you say that your dad buys a lot of properties, what does that mean? So he he's mainly he's not doing too many flips. He's, right. Prescott's a great Airbnb market just because it's so beautiful up there. Yep. Um, but I, I also found a cabin in the woods, mm -hmm. the Prescott Pines. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, he bought that one for me, and we're gonna turn that into an Airbnb. And he also he also just closed on like a duplex type uh, office space. But I mean, he's really just rentals, rentals, rentals. Right. Um, so build building the, the portfolio. Yep. And so you're following those footsteps. Yeah. He he likes that I'm finding the good deals now for him. I bet he does. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he does. But no, it's been working out really well. Now, when you're looking at a deal, a lot of this show is looking at comps. Scoot forward just a little bit, so this All is right. getting you been crystal clear here. Look at that. Isn't that great? That's uh, a good camera. So when you're looking at a deal, yeah. and you're competent. Do you, how are you, what are you looking at, like ARV minus what, 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 what? You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm trying to follow that equation that you put out there. Yeah. But the market's so hot right now, I'm mm -hmm. kind of doing ARV minus even like 15%, mm -hmm. not the normal 30%. I think that's when I first started learning. Um, so ARV like times 0 0.8, 0 0.85. Yep. Um, minus repairs, you know, is kind of what I could sell. Wait, at. and that works? Because I tell everybody... ARV minus 0.84, depending okay. on the market, because some of the markets yeah. are lower. Yeah. Uh, the uh, fix and flipper is going to look for at least a minimum of twenty thousand dollars profit. Yep. So if that doesn't fit into that ten percent uh, of the uh, or the sixteen percent that you take off the top, yeah. then you have to adjust. Minus repairs is the wholesale price. Yes. And then subtract from there. That's yeah. what you're doing. And I think you know people out there when you're when you're figuring out that equation there and it's not perfect you get yeah. a little scared yeah but just so you know I mean the market's crazy right now um, you can there's room there I there's know a lot of room it, it, I if, know if you match that equation you know I think you're gonna make a pretty good fee on it yeah don't be scared to even go up a little bit I mean it's the market's crazy right now and buyers what's are, your what's your average wholesale fee yeah so my first one was like three thousand so right. I just take that one away I think yeah. it's about sixteen seventeen thousand right. yeah I so mean the it's, numbers say it like that yeah yeah whatever 106 divided by eight is or whatever yeah but um yeah man I'm, I'm, they've been pretty good you know and even one of them I found off Facebook Messenger yeah it was my biggest deal twenty two thousand yeah but I just messaged a rental off Facebook Messenger. what do you mean so break that down yeah so when I'm calling sometimes I'll go into Facebook right and they'll have uh, <laughs> rental listings yeah, you know, they'll have you know the an apartment for rent, eight hundred bucks a month, and uh, you'll be able to message them. So I just messaged them. I was going through like normal, you know, just being like, hey, I just want to see if you consider an offer on your property to sell. And they were a young couple, and like, yeah, we actually been thinking about selling, you know. And it was in Dewey, so it was like twenty minutes from where I live. So yeah, um, I went down there the next day. I think I locked up for like two ninety seven, and I uh, I sold it for like three twenty. Incredible from a oh, Facebook, Facebook message. Messenger. Ooh, I mean, here we go. Crazy. What do you think? That's yeah. incredible, right? Yeah, an Instagram post, huh? yeah that'll be great. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's, it's it is. a good hack. I mean, when you're making calls and you're you're bored, you're playing video games, send whatever, messages. Go to Facebook and send messages. Yeah, people are like, well, what happens when text messages like, like they start blocking the the mass text messages? Yeah. DM. Yeah. Somebody's going to create some bot that, you know, just automatically scrapes yeah. it and sends things. You know what I mean? That'd yeah. be interesting. Maybe you'll build that. Maybe. You know, think about that. Yeah, Maybe. there you go. The, that's the uh, that's the but next Yeah, venture. I mean, you can't message all of them, but the ones that say, you know, yeah. they're, they're going to be right to the owner. Yeah. More like they're going to be on Facebook, you know, throughout the day. So they'll see your message. So talk to so, talk to everybody that's, uh, you know, they're seeing an 18, 19, freshly 19-year-old making calls, doing deals. Uh, maybe they're apprehensive to make calls. Maybe they're trying to fit it into their, their schedule and their world. They're not sure if it's going to work. What yeah. would you say to somebody like that? So I say the biggest thing is for me is just really just being consistent. Yep. You know, so I started out, I think maybe just like an hour a day, um, 30 minutes. I mean, if you guys are working, you're nine to five and you're just burnt, um, yep. you know, just try to fit in like an hour, maybe before you go, maybe, maybe after. even 15 minutes. Exactly. 30 it just minutes, builds the habit. Minutes. And then all of a sudden, the funny thing is you start liking it. All it takes is one conversation. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No. And then, like you said, you kind of just build energy off of it. And, you know, there's a lot of no's that can kind of wear you out, but you know, when you get that one, yes, uh -huh. and it's 15, 20 grand, you know, it just makes it all worth it. I remember when I first started making calls and I was like, you know, calling and calling and somebody was like, yes, I would consider. And I was like, whoa, yeah. this is it. Yeah, this is it. And then I got obsessed with it. And yeah. then I was like consistent for years and years and years and years. And then I started hiring people. But I was calling forever. Yeah. I mean, I talked to 45,000 
homeowners. You know yeah. what I mean? And you yeah. can imagine because I mean you've already talked to well, five thousand of yeah. them, and you just get into that rhythm and you get it like it gives you that juice and the, it it really is exciting. Yeah, but I think just the main thing is if you guys can stay consistent, you know, even five days a week, just make your calls. Um, it's going to mean the world of a difference. That's that, I mean that's, that's all. It. I don't know what kept me coming back to make calls. It's not like it's fun right away. Right. Um, and I just kept doing it. You yeah. Know? And it, it's kind of then it gets, you know, part of your daily routine. You know, How you long did it take calls. you to get your first deal? Let's see. Probably about a month. Yeah. About a month. So tell, I mean, it, tell everybody about this. Because yeah. I'm telling everybody 90 days from the first time you talk to them to the time that you get closed is average. Yeah. But so, you got your first deal closed in a month or just locked up in a month? Let's see. I started about in May. I think it closed middle of June. Yeah. So a little over a month that it closed. That was the little guy. Yeah, that was three thousand. Yeah, totally messy. All yep. the work I put in should have been like thirty thousand. Right. No, no, I mean it was. I think I just I, I saw something about you can get pre foreclosure lists from realtors. Yeah. Um, and right now I know pre foreclosures are small because banks are giving you know a bunch of yep forbearance. Yeah, and yep. all that type of stuff. Yep. But um, yeah, before COVID started and everything, I got a, a pre foreclosure list um, from an agent in town, and uh, I called. It. I think there was like maybe. 100, 200 people on there. Yeah. And I found this couple down in Camp Verde uh, that was kind of going through some things. And I remember. I was able to help them out. I, I mean, remember. It, it was so. Yeah. It was like the worst things you could have done, I did. Yeah. But, I mean, it ended like, you know, I had, she was crying on the phone like, oh, we're not going to be able to close. You have this big tax lien, you know, that we have to pay before we close. And it was like a couple grand. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I, I know that they would figure it out. You yeah. Know, it's either that or they're getting foreclosed on. Yeah. You know, I didn't have the money to pay him for that. Yeah. Um, so I just kind of let it ride out and you know, I eventually just got it done for them. Yeah. Um, you know, I think I really helped them out. I think they owed about 90 on it. I think I locked it up for like 110. Zillow said like 120. Yep. <laughs> yep. And uh, I had to go back and lower them down to like 95. Ended up selling it for 98 yep. to a local investor in Camp Verde that I put on Craigslist. I put on Craigslist and Marketplace and <laughs> ended up finding this guy named Jim who wanted a little rental. Love so. it. And in the smaller markets, I mean, that's that's you can find buyers on there. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit tougher in the bigger markets to really find legit because most of the people on the Craigslist and Marketplace here are other wholesalers. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's a good way to network in that sense. But um, And by the way, guys, tell, tell everybody about your YouTube channel, yeah. how to connect with you, everything. I know that this is quick, but I think that you've really made a big impact. I mean, guys. No, I appreciate it. Incredible, man. right? Yeah. So if you guys want to go to my YouTube, it's just my name. Carter Libis, C-A-R-T-R-L-I-B-I-S. Um, I started it like a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. um, I got my f my fix and flip on there. Um, you know, kind of how I made my hundred thousand in those eight eight months. Um, some good content on there. I don't know. I just try my best to document what I'm doing. So if you guys want to follow along, you guys subscribe. But my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's all just my name, Carter Libis. So awesome. Search me up and message me if you want. Awesome. Any questions? We're rolling out. Guys, you want to come on in, up here? Let's close this thing out. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being on here. Thank Absolutely you. incredible, guys. Make sure that you follow Carter. Uh, what a great show again today. Thank you, guys, for everybody that called in with your questions. That makes the show. So next week, make sure that you come ready. The phone lines will be open, and we will answer those questions. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do, or these guys are going to be very, very, very sad. They get real sad. Oh, boy. So anyway, on behalf of uh, Matt and Matt and Jesse and Mike and Daniel and Alejandro, geez Louise, uh, <laughs> and Carter, we say thank you for joining us. Until next week, we encourage you to talk to people. We love you guys. See you next week. It's bananas. It's bananas. It's bananarchy. <laughs> Bananas! If you like that video, hit that subscribe button. We come out with new videos every single day. And if you want your questions answered, like you and I, one-on-one, -on -one, make sure that you join us for the live show every single Wednesday. I will see you there.